Ultrusion is a manufacturing process used to form a two-dimensional continuous profile of fiberglass reinforced polymer. These FRP profiles are strong, lightweight, corrosion resistant, non-conductive structural composites used over a wide variety of industries. The Poltrusion process allows for continuous processing of high volume lengths of FRP profiles. The possibilities for simple to complex shapes is almost endless. The process starts with creels of fiberglass unidirectional roving. These reinforcements provide the strength along the longitudinal length of the finished poltrusion. As we move forward in the manufacturing process, the next reinforcement in line is the continuous filament mat, or CFM. CFM provides strength across the width or the transverse direction of the finished poltrusion profile. Both sets of fiberglass reinforcements are sent through a preformed guidance card to begin the profile forming process. As the fiberglass gets closer to the resin bath, most profiles are introduced to a synthetic surfacing veil. Veil is used to provide the finished profile with a high quality surface finish as well as provide an additional layer of corrosion and weathering protection to the poltrusion. Now that all of our fiberglass and veils are packaged together, they are introduced to either polyester or vinoester resin. The resin bath is designed to completely saturate the fiberglass package. The resin consists of base polyester or vinoester, fillers, pigments, mold release, and catalysts. As the poltrusions continue to pull forward, the resin and the fiberglass is then formed into a shape through a set of custom machined CNC cards. These cards are carefully machined to the profile geometry so that the package can easily enter the poltrusion die. At this point, the resin and the fiberglass are then pulled into a heated poltrusion die. The resin and the catalyst are heated to the specified temperature. Once we reach the specified temperature, extra thermic reaction happens, turning the part from a liquid into a thermoset formed hard FRP profile. The fully cured profile exiting the poltrusion die is advanced down the poltrusion line by a pair of dual reciprocating hydraulic cooler clamp stations. These stations work in tandem, hand over hand, to create a continuous pooling action. The word poltrusion comes from this process of pooling and extrusion, thus the word poltrusion. The last step in the manufacturing process is cutting. The poltrusion machine will keep an automatic count in lineal inches or in lineal millimeters of the output after each cut. As the PLC records the output produced between the cuts, once it records the set cut length, it will activate the saw to generate a new cut of the poltrusion being manufactured. After the parts are cut, the operator will quality inspect each manufactured poltrusion. If the parts pass QC inspection, the parts are palletized for shipment upon completion of the order.